Mile High Club. Whoo, yeah. Uh, I, um, I've joined the Mile High Club. <laughs> That's where you get stoned in a bathroom. Ha <laughs> ha, woo. Um, yeah, Mile High Club, it seems crazy hard to do. I don't know how you pull it off. I've never, uh, I've never joined the Mile High Club. In those situations, I'm never good. Like, if you have to go quick, you know, your mind is like, I don't know how to go quick. And you're like, what do you mean? You know, you know how to go quick? You've, done, you've gone quick before. It's like, I don't know right now how to go quick. There's a lot of pressure. Like, your penis as a man is such a weird uh, organ. It's just so bizarre. It's just, like, against you in so many ways. Anytime you're like, don't get hard, it's like, got it, I'll get hard. You're like, no. Anytime you're like, stay soft, it's like, got it, get hard. You're like, no. So, uh, you know, it's, it's weird like that. I actually had a story recently, uh, in the past, probably like seven weeks or so. I was, I really fucked my hamstring up, uh, over the pandemic. And so like, I, I've had to get like some work on it. And I met, I, uh, uh, through a friend, met a massage uh, therapist who's fantastic. And, um, I went to her the first time and she was massaging me. And I hadn't thought in my head at all about the fact that I had not had, like, human contact on my body in, like, 12 months or whatever, 10 months at the time. Uh, so I was like, oh, shit. So she was like, rub it. It felt great, you know, and all that. And then as she got closer to the crotch area, I was like, why did I not get, you know, why did I not discharge before this session? Because I've not been touched by someone in general, but let alone of the opposite sex. And it wasn't even sexual, but my penis was just like, all right. And I was like, no, dude, what are you doing? And it's like, we're going to party. And I'm like, no, we're not partying. We're getting a therapeutic massage. This is purely therapeutic. And the penis is like, well, if it's so therapeutic, how come I'm loving it? And I'm like, don't you dare. And of course, you know, my penis starts to, 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 you know, go to it, just a go, go gadget penis size. And, uh, and so I'm thinking, oh shit, oh shit. And she's, you know, she's right near it. So I'm like, well, she's got to fucking know what's going on. I mean, she, you know, and as I'm just twirling and toiling and spinning in my own head, she just goes, do you have any other animals besides the cat? And it was just like such a vanilla question that it took me out of this crazy headspace where I was trying to convince my penis to go down and it just lightened, the, it just made it fine. I just like was, then I was talking about animals and my penis was like, oh, animals? <sighs> we'll see you later. You know, it was amazing. I really, it was a, it, it was terrible, but it was also great the way it worked out. His name is Gareth. That's why it's Gareth.